In this lesson, I'll cover how to use the Pipes Collision Conflict Check Routine. We'll start by selecting Sewer Networks, then run the conflict, use Collision Navigator, and generate reports. As a reminder, this project has several collisions, so we'll go ahead and get started. All right, so from the Network menu, we'll go Check Sewer Network, and then Collision Conflict Check. All right, so we'll start by adding a file. Uh, we'll compare the dog bank against the fire network. So let's go select that. Let's click an add file and let's now select fire. Let's, I'll use conquerors. Perfect. Tolerance, one foot. Uh, if it's collision, it's collision. So we'll report that directly. We do not have any polyline or 3D polylines with pipe data. So I can skip and use no pipe 3D polyline check. Uh, all right, let's go on the settings. Uh, symbols you can change. I'm going to change the color because I have a bunch of red in this file. So I'll use magenta for that. And that's for collision. Let's do the same thing for crossings. There we go. Let's use magenta. Let's hit OK. Perfect. And let's hit OK. OK. Uh, the software also allows you to do order rules. So for instance, if we knew that uh, pressure pipes have to be above of sewer networks, we could set up a tolerance for that and it would report that. We'll report crossings and collisions. We'll go ahead and report uh, collisions. Okay, report formatter. All right, so I have pre-selected some things that I like, uh, like the first, first pipe system, second pipe system, uh, north and easting, elevations and all that. So good uh, we can display it in this way which is kind of your general Carson report format I will show the information here and you notice it says collide so we know that it is a collision okay let me go back and let's go ahead and use report viewer because this will generate a PDF file so let me open it there we go and it has the basic information that we need we'll go ahead and click on save I'll save to PDF all right uh, let me put in the same folder where I have all my project data. Perfect. And I'll give it a name. So this is ductwork versus fire. So the fire, and I like to timestamp it. So I'm going to say this is uh, 092120. Okay, let's go ahead and click save. Perfect. We have the report. Let's go ahead and close out of the report viewer. Let's exit out of this one. That will open up the... Oh, sorry. Let's hit OK. Now we will open up the Collision Navigator. So, you know, I only have a few because I compared just to pipe networks. So let's grab, uh, that's one of those. And let's do a quick zoom too. So there we go. We have the symbol. It's telling us what, what happened. I can zoom into that. Perfect. And if you want to zoom in CAD, you need to exit. Okay, perfect. So there we go. It's showing us it's collision, uh, the invert and crown for the pipes. You can see it's fire against my ductwork here. Let's kind of double click there. You see the, the line, the layer, sorry. Okay, good. Now, if I were to go to the folder now, you notice that I have my PDF. So I can double click on that. And again, it's a shareable file that I can send to, you know, the, the GC or the engineers or anybody else to kind of review the conflicts that we have in here. There's three pages. So I, I printed in uh, portrait view as opposed to landscape view. All right, there we go. So recapping, what we did is we went to network and we run the conflict collision check, generate the reports, and navigate the errors.